I've been hearing about this launcher everywhere lately. Friends bringing it up posts all over gaming forums, and I just had to ask myself, is this really the best way to play Minecraft, or just another overhyped shortcut? Let's dig in. So what exactly is it? In simple terms, it's a third-party Minecraft launcher. Instead of using Mojang or Microsoft's official version, you download and play the game directly through this tool. The promise is simple but bold. Play Minecraft for free, explore every version ever released, and access tons of mods and skins without the hassle. Here's how it actually works. Once you download and install the launcher, you're immediately given the choice to run any version of Minecraft, from the earliest days to the latest updates. It comes with built-in mod support, so instead of searching sketchy sites or dragging files into hidden folders, you can add mods and skins straight from inside the launcher. It's like having an all-in-one control panel that unlocks the game without ever needing the official launcher. Now let's talk about the upsides. First and most obvious, it's completely free. That's a huge draw for anyone who doesn't want to spend money on the official game right away. Second, the level of customization is massive. You get access to endless skins, mods, and the ability to quickly switch between versions whenever you want. And third, the interface is surprisingly simple. Even if you're brand new to Minecraft, you'll figure it out in minutes. But of course, nothing's perfect. The biggest drawback is legality. This isn't an official product, which means you're not actually supporting the developers when you use it. That also comes with consequences. You can't join official servers like Hypixel, which is a huge part of the game for many players. Security is another concern. Because it's unofficial, there's always the risk that updates or third-party mods could introduce vulnerabilities. And while free sounds amazing, you miss out on the long-term stability and perks that come with having a genuine Minecraft account. So who's it really for? If you're just curious about Minecraft and want to try it before spending money, this is a great option. It's also perfect if you're a modder, or someone who loves experimenting without worrying about breaking a paid copy of the game. But if you're serious about online play, or you care about supporting the people who built Minecraft, the official version is the smarter choice. Here's my verdict. This launcher absolutely delivers on what it promises. It makes Minecraft free, flexible, and highly customizable. But it comes with trade-offs, no official multiplayer, questionable security, and that legal gray zone. If you're fine with those risks, it's a powerful tool. If not, the official route is still the long-term winner. Now I want to hear from you. Have you tried it out yourself, or do you stick to the official game? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I read every single one. And if this breakdown helped you, hit like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.